what exactly is it? How will it happen? According to Jewish tradition, uh, there will come a time when a predestined individual will appear here on earth and proclaim the kingdom of God here on earth. And that will change the whole world, the whole universe. That will no longer be warfare, there will no longer be jealousy and strife amongst people. Everybody will live in peace and harmony with one another. In the prophetic vision, the, the wolf will lie with the lamb. A wolf sees a lamb nowadays, he attacks it, devours it. The lamb sees the wolf, it runs away. When Moshiach will come, the wolf and the lamb will play together. A little kid will play at a, a poisonous viper's nest and play with the poisonous snakes. They will not be corrupt and destroy and, and, and be harmful to one another. Why? Because it's the coming of Mashiach. The whole earth shall be filled with the knowledge and the consciousness of God. Now, whenever I see something, I have to remind myself. I see a pretty girl out there. I see delicious food at McDonald's. I see this and that temptation. Uh, hands off, not for you. The Mashiach will come. I don't even have to struggle anymore. I will realize what is for me and what is not for me. It's not that I'm tempted to do things. When Mashiach will come, for that matter, the ultimate reward will be that we will no longer be disturbed by all these things which upset the apple cart nowadays the trials and tribulations of day-to-day -day life. Utopia, bliss. The messianic prophecy, according to our prophets, will go so, even so far that you don't even have to worry anymore about physical labor, making a livelihood. It's as if sandwiches will go already made on the trees. All you have to do is stick out your hand. I'll tell you something, out about, about, something else about the messianic age, which you will definitely not like. That you may possibly say, who needs Mashiach? What will you be doing if life is going to be so easy and blissful? The Mishnah, people have a, conception, a perception of Mashiach when he will come. We'll all be riding our donkeys along the beachfront and drinking wine, having a good time. <laughs> that's how we perceive bliss and happiness and joy nowadays. But that's because of the way the, life that, the lifestyle that we have. And therefore we think the opposite is, I can retire, I can relax. You know what is one of the biggest social problems in the world today? Retirement. People can't wait to retire. And they're so happy. Now I can do whatever I feel like doing. And it is fun. It is bliss. For one year, for two years, three years maybe. Then they go nuts. What should I do? There's no routine. There's no purpose. There's nothing. Because you're living loose ended. People are begging. Please let me go back to work. Even for nothing. Give me some kind of a job, some kind of a function, some kind of something to do. Here, a whole life you waited to retire, and now all of a sudden you want to go back to work. And even for loan money, you have your pensions and that's taken care of. You have to, a person, a human being, needs something to keep him active. And when Mashiach will come, what, you will be active, but sitting and learning. From our present perspective, this doesn't make too much sense. But that is the whole prophetic vision, because you will have a different consciousness, you will see things differently. What is the greatest frustration that we suffer from nowadays? The ultimate pain and suffering that mankind has to confront. Not pain, not illness, not poverty, none of these things. The ultimate pain and frustration that we have nowadays is not knowing what is going on. Pain means nothing. Pain is all in your head. Don't you dare punch me in the nose and say, is this in your head? <laughs> yeah, the sure is in the head. My nose is in the head. Pain is in the head. There are times, the proof is, there are times that you go looking for pain. And you're not a bunch of masochists. I don't think so. That you beg that pain should be inflicted upon you. Not only do you beg for pain to be inflicted upon you, you even pay the person who gives you pain. And thank him and express gratitude. All of you have done that. Every one of you. When? Last time you went to your dentist. <laughs> Had a filling, root canal. Last time you went to the doctor, got needle, got an operation. 
you know beforehand is going to cut you up. It's going to start drilling in your mouth. And he's going to prescribe expensive medicine. All the things that you try to avoid, all the things that go counter to everything that you call happy and fine. You're begging them, please, doctor, let me in and give me that needle. Please, doctor, drill my, my mouth, etc. Why are you begging for that, you idiots? Why do you do that? Ah, you don't understand. That's not just pain. It's a painful means towards a blissful end. And if it's towards a blissful end, it is worth it. Every time you go to a store, you're acting like an idiot. If I take away your money, or you would lose your money, you would be very upset. What do you do every time you go to a store? A whole week, a whole month, three months, you worked so hard and everything. And now you take all your money and you give it to the storekeeper. Here, take my money. And you walk out with something else. Why do you give him away your money? Ah, because what I get for my money is worth to me more than the money itself. If it's not worth more than the money itself, you wouldn't buy it. So it's all how we look at things, the perspective that we take. So today, when we think about hitting the, 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 the books, going to school and sitting and learning and studying all day long, etc., 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 makes no sense. I want to be free, do my own thing. Go to the beach all day. Ah, oh, Sydney, Bondi Beach, yeah, famous place. Um, when Mashiach will come, you look at things differently. The whole consciousness of the world will change. The even animals will forsake the normal nature and character. They will live in peace and harmony with one another. And that is the ultimate place. And the ultimate place will be that all the things that presently frustrate you, that presently you do not understand, will suddenly become clear to you. There will no longer be a question, why do bad things happen to good people? You will see everything. Everything becomes real. Everything has meaning. Everything leads to a purpose.